Reminds me of those magic rocks I had as a kid. You drop them into a jar of water or a brandy snifter or something full of water and these crystals would form. They were very, very pretty. They were multicolored things and they were very fragile. You just had to look at them for a few days and eventually they would fall apart. They were really beautiful. They were probably very, very toxic. I remember a lot of little um, toys, like little Japanese toys or Chinese toys, and one was a clamshell, and it was sealed shut with a piece of rice paper, and you dropped it into a glass of water or a bowl of water, a clear bowl of water, preferably, so you could see it from the side or a tall jar, and gradually the paper would soak and the clamshell, which was still hinged, would open and some little rolled up bits of paper that looked like flowers would come out and they were attached with strings and they would rise to the surface of the water. And it was very, very, very pretty. I, I wish I could find some to buy, I suppose. Actually, they looked rather difficult to make. They were made of like little crepe paper things inside. It's too bad they they don't make uh, toys like that for people anymore that I've seen in the West. I used to go to a, a store in Midtown Manhattan on Fifth Avenue around 43rd Street. I think it was called the Japan Store and they had a lot of uh, those cool comic books and um, fans and sake sets and stuff like that. It was just really beautiful stuff. Wrapping paper and notebooks and things. I used to go in there and, and buy things uh, because they were just so pretty to look at as well as use. 